a lot of people are worried, you know, they're fearing that their roles, their child, their roles might become redundant and the machines will take over. Um, but there's also a different view that it's just about a, a different way of working. Uh, Mike, from again, from a slightly different yeah. perspective, what That's are you to... seeing? Well, so actually, it's very similar to Jayesh's perspective there, you know, that, you know, the role of the treasury is increasingly technological you know and you've got to have that acumen and everything else but the role of the treasurer has always been technical you know it's technical you know treasury wise finance and now it's the interface with technology and using that and as a as a tool and you know a tool can be a dangerous weapon as we know and and everything else but you know one of the key things is that i'm never asked you know i, I don't get asked by a cfo picks up the phone and says mike I want, you know, a treasurer that is, you know, an IT guru that does this and a programmer as well as a treasurer. They want a treasurer first. And how do they then bring that IT capacity or integrate any IT team? Well, they'll bring in a systems guy. Those are the key things. They, you know, it's not someone who says, you know, there must be, as Drummond put, you know, a programmer in Python. You know, you know, it's not that. Yeah, an understanding of blockchain and again sometimes on the podcast i ask people that you know do, with treasurers do they find that the the cfo is pushing the treasurer in front of them you know not under the bus luckily um but a lot of the time is like the leader if you like to uh, be the filter for a lot of that it technology coming at them oh we've got this blockchain idea what do you think and they're the filter a lot of the time and i think that's a another thing being thrown at treasurers in increasingly uh, technological world and then you do get also the other one uh, you know I was going to mention actually because it just came up in the conversation there um, one great uh, treasurer I know Severin Leblenet from Honeywell she she got so much and is so much into IT she's just a crazy mad wonderful lady but she and I've said this to her she she now knows how to machine code so she knows how to move the robots and so she can do this and I said why did you learn this as a treasurer she went well if I'm going to tell these guys how we make it work to then impact on my balance sheet and why they can't spell, you know, I want to learn this. And she's actually done this and can hop on a desk and do this. And I think, you know, there may be more technologically savvy treasurers in the future, but I think they use it more as a part of their toolkit rather than their overall toolkit sort of thing. 